happen to me when I'm gonna talk because I get so emotional. Oh. So be all And Lulu. All right, I've been seeing a number of people recommend this artist, Ren. Never heard of him. Mm-hmm. And he has a song that came out, I guess, a couple months ago called "Hi Ren." <laughs> but it's it's not it's not that happy. You look at the thumbnail and it looks like some dude bound in a wheelchair in a mental institute or something. So there's something dark going on about this. So I like I had to look it up. Like why are people recommending this? So apparently he wrote this because he was going through chronic health problems when he was younger in his 20s. While everyone, all his friends were like out having fun, he was just constantly getting sick and getting worse and worse. Seeing doctor after doctor so i guess he thought he was you know maybe losing his mind he was, or he's just debilitating right finally he raised enough money finally get to see a doctor and it was lyme disease <gasps> like it's a common disease but it's one of those diseases that i've heard about because i have a friend who went through that it was bad like just lost everything years of her life gone bedridden like right like surgery even like just like like she has a huge like oh yeah and it ended up being Lyme Ooh. disease because it's one of those diseases it's really hard to know. It's it's that specifically. Really hard to diagnose. Really hard to diagnose, but it's really disease? that like evident. But it's enough that it can set you through depression and set you through a lot of issues. So oh my God. it sounds like a really powerful song. And uh, I'm like, all right, you know, I, I want to check this out because, you know, lately, you know, health has been one of those things on top of my mind, both mental, physical. And, uh, you know, how music is just a great way to connect us all to kind of talk about these things and learn how to deal with them. You know, the crazy thing about Lyme disease, because like you basically just get it from like, you know, like a little Mm -hmm. bug bites you, is that um, it can like last and stay kind of dormant for a while. And then it just hits you and it just like affects your life for long, long periods of time. I've heard enough of these stories that if I ever get sick, I can't tell what it is. I just a doctor, check for Lyme disease. (laughs) Just just do it first. Because it just feels like one of those illnesses. (laughs) All right, yo, let's check this out, man. Yo, by the way, if you want to learn how to make a cool million dollars, check out my podcast. Ooh, and if you want some hotness, check out my fantasy show on my OnlyFans. That's right. That's another way, too. (laughs) Yes, yeah. All right. And away we go. Oh. Oh, my. Um, hello. Hi, Ryan. Hi, Bren. I've been taking some time to be distant. I've been taking some time to be still. I've been taking some time to be by myself since my therapist told me I'm ill. And I've been making some progress lately. And I've learned some new coping skills. So I haven't really needed you much, man. I think we need to just step back and chill. Bren, you sound more insane than I do. You think that those doctors are really there to guide you? You've been through this a million times. Your civilian mind is so perfect to always be lied to. Okay, take another pill, boy. Drown yourself in the sound of white noise. Follow this 10 step program. Rejoice. All your problems will be gone. Fucking dumb boy. Nah, mate. This time is different, man. Trust me. I feel like things might be falling in place. And my music's been kind of doing bits too. Like I actually might do something great And when I'm gone, maybe I'll be remembered For doing something special with myself 
That's why I don't think that we should talk, man. Cause when you're with me, it never seems to help. You think that you can amputate me? I am you, you are me, you are I, I am we, we are one. Split in two, that makes one, so you see. You gotta kill you if you wanna kill me. I'm not left over dinner, I'm not scraps on the side. Oh, your music is thriving, delusional guy. Where's your top ten hit? Where's your interview with Oprah? Where are your Grammys, Ren? Nowhere. Yeah, but my music's not commercial like that. I never chase numbers, statistics or stats. I never write hooks for the radio, they never even play me, so why would I concern myself with that? But my music is really connected, and the people who find it respect it. And for me, that's enough, because this life's been tough, so it gives me a purpose I can rest in. Man, you sound so pretentious. Ren, your music is so self-centered. No one wants to hear another song about how much you hate yourself. Trust me. You should be so lucky Having me inside you to guide you, remind you To manage expectations, provide you perspective That thing you neglect it, I get it You wanna be a big deal, next Jimi Hendrix, forget it Man, it's not like that Man, it's just like that, I'm inside you, you twat No, it's not, man, you're wrong, when I write, I belong Let me break the fourth wall by acknowledging this song Ren sits down, has a stroke of genius He wants to write a song this that was not done previous freaking Battle genius Eminem did it Played on guitar Plan B did it Man, you're not original, you criminal Rip off artist, the pinnacle of your success Is stealing other people's material. Ren, mate, we've heard it all before. Oh, uh, she sells seashells on the seashore. Fuck you. I don't need you. I don't need to hear this. Cause I'm fine by myself. I'm a genius. And I will be great. And I will make waves. And I'll shake up the whole world beneath us. That's right. Speak your truth. Your fucking god complex leaks out of you. It's refreshing to ask for you. Say it instead of downplay it. Uh, music is all about the creative process and if people can find something to relate to within that then that's just a bonus Fuck you, I'ma fucking kill you Ren Well fucking kill me then, let's fucking have you Ren I'ma do it, watch me prove it, who are you to doubt my music cause I call the shots I choose if you die Yeah I call the shots and so I choose who survives I'll tie you up in knots when I lock you inside <sighs> News flash I was created at the dawn of creation I am temptation I am the snake in Eden. I am the reason for treason. Beheading all kings, I am sin, with no rhyme or reason. Son of the morning, Lucifer, Antichrist, father of lies. Mustopheles, truth in a blender, deceitful pretender, the banished avenger, the righteous surrender. When standing in front of my solar eclipse, my name is stitched to your lips, so you see. I won't bow to the will of a mortal, feeble and normal. You wanna kill me? I'm eternal and mortal. I live in every decision that catalyzes chaos that causes division. I live inside death, the beginning of hell. I am you, you are me, I am you, friend. Oh. Hi, Ren. I've been taking some time to be distant. I've been taking some time to be still. I've been taking some time to be by myself and I've spent half my life ill But just as sure as the tide starts turning Just as sure as the night has dawned Just as sure as the rain falls soon runs dry when you stand in an eye of a storm I was made to be tested and twisted I was made to be broken and beat I was made by his hand, it's all part of his plan that I stand on my own two feet And you know me, my will is eternal And you know me, you've met me before Face to face with a beast, I will rise from the east and I'll settle on the ocean floor. And I go by many names also. Some people know me as hope. Some people know me as the voice that you hear when you loosen the noose on the rope. And you know how I know that I'll prosper? Cause I stand here beside you today. I have stood in the flames that cremated my brain and I didn't once flinch your shape. So coward the man I've become when I sing from the top of my lungs. That I won't retire, I'll stand in your fire Inspire that me to be strong And when I am gone I will rise In the music that I left behind Ferocious, persistent, immortal like you We're a to different side
When I was 17 years old, I shouted out into an empty room, into a blank canvas that I would defeat the forces of evil. And for the next 10 years of my life, I suffered the consequences with autoimmunity, illness, and psychosis. As I got older, I realized there were no real winners and there were no real losers in psychological warfare, but there were victims and there were students. It wasn't David versus Goliath. It was a pendulum, eternally swaying from the dark to the light. And the more intensely that the light shone, the darker the shadow it cast. It was never really a battle for me to win. It was an eternal dance. And like a dance, the more rigid I became, the harder it got. The more I cursed my clumsy footsteps, the more I struggled. So I got older and I learned to relax. And I learned to soften and that dance got easier. It is this eternal dance that separates human beings from angels, from demons, from God. And I must not forget, we must not forget, that we are human beings. Whoa. <laughs> I was not ready for that. Damn. Oh man, that was. I wonder if that's what his mind feels like day in day out. The eternal struggle. I know. <laughs> I don't even want to talk because I get so emotional. Oh. You hit you hard, baby. Yep. Why? You feeling it too? Yeah. We all have, you know, demons in our head. And we try to fight it. And like he said in the lyrics, like, you know, you're, don't do it because you're just, nobody's going to listen to your sad story or to your, you know, that's not true. My tears is not because of him going through what he's going through. It's the message that he tries to share and the voice that he tries to do it for everybody else that's going through the same thing, you know? That oh my god. <laughs> I don't even know if that makes sense. Oh, but <laughs> but I wow. Understand. That was damn. I can't only imagine how hard it is. But I'm glad he found music, you know, and outlet. To, to I wonder if he survive. still like, is dealing with that. Like Lyme disease is curable, but if he has ongoing psychosis, or if the psychosis yeah, came the about because one. you fought your body's falling apart and you can't figure out. Because sometimes craziness is just like he knows there's something wrong, but no one believes him, or no one. Everyone just goes about it, right? So, you know, I think his point though is that at least for him. It's eternal struggle. Yeah. That it's not something that, you know, and I, sometimes I'll just say like, hey, you got to toughen up. You got to get over it, right? You just, life goes on. But the point is, is that the best you can do is learn to dance with it. Yeah. Recognize it and learn, like you said, learn from it, dance with it, recognize it. Don't even ignore it because that's the problem, right? Damn. <sighs> Hi, Ren. I ran. I'm your new fan. 